Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. We're kicking things off in the Intel booth with something really, really exciting. These guys are called Open Bionics, and they're using Intel's RealSense 3D camera in order to print 3D hands and then scan the, uh, the arm that they are going to then create a socket for, and then they actually can put the hand on someone who doesn't actually have a hand. I mean, this is, holy crap, this is amazing. So the way it works is, okay, that is incredible. So the way it works is there are actually sensors attached to the muscles on Dan's arm here that allow him to control this hand. And Can, can you tell me about what it's like to, to use it? Well, it's pretty surreal, to be honest with you. Like, um, I was born with one hand, so obviously I was able to adapt, and now I'm adapting to using two hands. So this now, I, this is my third day of using it on the go. So this is our beta, this is our second prototype, and like, it's coming so natural to me to be using. So it's crazy, it's, it's surreal, but I'm loving it. And we're getting so much great feedback from anybody, and it's just awesome to be part of, so yeah. I don't know, I'm just, just so much emotions right now. It's crazy. I mean, that is so incredible. It takes apparently four, three to four days to print one hand. So uh, there's a lot of work still to be done, but it's incredible because, I mean, what, uh, th what 30 years ago, 35 years ago, whenever Empire Strikes Back came out, you looked at that scene where, you know, Luke, Mark Hamill gets his hand put back on, and you go, wow, holy crap, maybe in a thousand years. I don't know, man. <laughs> I do love Luke Scott, I love Star Wars, so that's it's, it's awesome. I've been, uh, a few people have said that, and it's uh, it's pretty cool to be part, to be saying, oh, you're like a bit like Luke Skywalker. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm like Luke Skywalker, I love it. It's amazing. So I, so I sort of slightly feel um, cyborg-y as well, but I, I, like, I don't mind. I like that. It's cool. That's so cool, man. But the 3D printing amazingness doesn't stop there at the Intel booth. This is a concept. Well, it's a piece of hardware that has to do with a concept that Intel's calling blended reality, which is basically the idea that we can take digital objects and turn them into real objects through 3D printing. In fact, they've got some 3D printed stuff over here that's pretty cutting edge stuff. So A, some stuff that's printed out much finer than we've been able to do in the past. B, they've got a link right here that can support 10 thousand pounds they've also got a working pair of scissors and a 3d printed spring and then the whole blended reality thing also encompasses taking real objects and turning those into digital objects that we can then modify and do with as we please so i'm going to go ahead and fire up the hp sprout it's a pretty normal looking for the most part all in one pc at first glance it's got a core i7 processor eight gigs ram one terabyte drive it comes with a wireless keyboard and mouse 1080p screen touchscreen all that good stuff Stuff, but this right here, this magnetic 20-point multi-touch interactive surface thing is where the magic happens. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 2D capture. That goes pretty much instantaneously. I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing. There's four cameras up here in this top-mounted unit, an infrared one, a real sense 3D one that does depth sensing, as well as two additional ones. And there's a projector reflector that turns this bottom piece right here into a perfectly usable 20-point multi-touch screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click confirm, and we're going to have these objects show up in our image library that we can then use the interface here to go ahead and interact with. So here's the ones that I just scanned. I'm going to go ahead and throw my little fabric pattern thing on here. I can rotate this. I can, you know, I can write on it or whatever else the case may be. I'll go ahead. I'm going to pick this pen. You know, hello. And what's cool about this is that Aside from being able to use it as uh, like a creative workspace, it can also just be used as a secondary screen. So this is a great demo where they're just firing up maps and whipping things around. It's not the highest resolution thing in the world, but it's more about the functionality of it than necessarily the, you know, the number of pixels. Now, the really cool thing here, though, is I mentioned turning 3D objects into 3D renders. So the demo that they showed us is scanning this mask. Now, it's not perfect yet, so my first question was, you know, yes, we can scan sort of the, the top surface of it, but there are some gaps. Are you guys going to be able to create full 360-degree models of these on the computer? 
And the answer is, with a piece of hardware that will augment this rather than replace it, yes. So there's going to be like a rotating table. This is freaking amazing stuff right here. So speaking of amazing stuff, our amazing sponsors, thank you for sending us down here. One of them is Phantom Glass. These guys make the best darn screen protectors out there. They're Gorilla Glass, so they're perfectly clear. They feel good on your fingers. They're easy to apply with no bubbles, and they're extremely durable. You can check those out at store.phantom.glass. And I want to do a shout out to HyperX. Those guys have a great YouTube channel with lots of great gaming content content, youtube.com slash HyperX. We've got both of those guys linked in the video description. Don't miss any of our CES content by making sure you're subscribed. And I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Was that cool or what?